Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and today's video I want to share with you guys the best tip that you guys can use to build a lot faster in this game And as well, I'm going to show you guys some additional tips that you can use to build faster as well So if you guys are looking to improve your building speed if you feel like you're not able to build much quicker in this game Definitely stay tuned to the end of this video because this video will be very helpful and will help you build much quicker here in Fortnite And real quick before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I give away V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway and win some free V bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and when I announce the winners every Friday. And lastly, make sure you guys put down your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account down in the comment section below, and you guys will be automatically entered into the giveaway. And lastly, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do go down to the bottom right, hit on supporter creator type of my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop and all right guys let's go right to the video all right so in this video i want to give you guys some very good tips and tricks you guys can use to improve your building speed a lot in fortnite and there's just a couple things you guys want to do that's going to ensure you that you're able to build faster than the other players you're going against but the number one thing or the number one concept you guys want to know if you're going to be able to build faster than other players is you have to continually stay moving because when you ever come to a full stop in the game it takes a good one to two seconds to be able to go back to full speed so i want to share with you guys three tips that you guys can use that's going to help prevent you from ever getting stuck in a situation where you're maybe coming to a full stop when you're building because like i said this is going to be the number one way you're going to be losing gun fights and build fights is when you come to a stop it slows your character down and it prevents you from going back to full speed for a couple of seconds so the solution is you always want to be continually moving when you're building or even just when you're running around in the game because that's going to make you as fast as possible so there is a few ways in which to go about it that's going to help you out when it comes to keeping your momentum because like I said, that is going to be the number one thing you want to do if you want to be able to continually win gunfights and build fights against other players. So if you're losing, that's probably one of the biggest mistakes that you're making. So the first thing that you guys want to do that is going to make a huge difference on being able to keep your momentum and build fights is a lot of the times when you're building, a lot of people only build from a certain side. So what you want to do is you want to practice building from both sides. And a very simple way to illustrate this is maybe you're the type of player who only has a couple retakes and you do a lot of 90s. You want to practice doing 90s from both sides. You want to practice doing 90s from the left side. And you also want to practice doing 90s from the right side. And the reason why this is very important when it comes to keeping your momentum is because a lot of times in build fights, you're going to have to build from that offside from time to time if you don't want to get messed up when you're building. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be 90s. It could be any retake. And you want to always practice from both sides whether when it's when, it, when it's building it doesn't matter if it's editing or whatever the case may be maybe flick shotting from a different angle it's really important to practice both angles just because it really helps you improve as a builder and at the same time it allows you to keep your momentum because sometimes when you're in a build fight you're going to get forced to maybe your left or right side and sometimes you're going to have to be from that uncomfortable side if you want to be able to keep your momentum so that's why you want to practice from both the left side and the right side you really want to practice as many retakes as possible from the left and right side and at the same time you want to practice your edits as well so when you're going from the left or right side you're never going to get stuck in a situation in which you're getting stuck and you're not going to be able to finish off the retake without stopping that way you can continually win a lot of build fights against other players and at the same time, when it comes to building from different sides, it can also be the same thing as when I'm building here, when I'm doing the double ramp floor and wall, I'm maybe going from left to right. And at the same time, I'm building from right to left. I'm continually going from both sides. And I think that is just really important and one of the best ways to keep your momentum in gunfights. So the next tip that I want to share with you guys is also going to be just as important if you are looking to keep your momentum, which is going to help you win a lot more build fights. And the number one thing that you guys want to do as well is you want to practice as many retakes as possible. And of course, you're not going to be using every single retake in game, but I think it's really important to learn as many retakes as you can, just because you never know in certain situations, you're going to have to go for a different retake if you want to keep your momentum. And I think that is a really important tip and some of you guys should be striving to work for as well. 
And as far as the retakes that you want to learn, there is a couple retakes that I think are a lot more common. Like you have the double 90s, you have retakes where maybe you have like a side jump, and you just have different simple things like that. But of course, you can get more advanced as well. So if you guys are looking for a lot of different retakes to try out, I have a ton of videos on my channel. All you guys have to do is go to the search bar, type in Young Humor High Ground Retake, and I have a ton of videos. But of course, a lot of my retakes are going to be a little bit more advanced because I have a ton of videos, and I always like to go on new retakes every single video so there is going to be some that are going to be a little bit more complicated than others but all in all if you are able to improve your retakes it's going to make you feel a lot more comfortable on your builds in the game and of course when it comes to the easier retakes if you're if you're really comfortable at doing a lot harder ones when it comes to the ones that are much easier you're going to be a lot more consistent at those and you're not going to be messing them up as much so that is one thing that you really want to improve on if you are looking to improve your building speed and as well keep your momentum so when you're going against other players in build fights you're going to have a big advantage and you're more than likely going to be able to outbuild and be a lot quicker than the player that you're going against and so the third thing that you guys want to do if you are looking to build a lot faster in this game, the third thing that I think is one of the most important things as well is you want to improve your editing speed. And of course, this ties back into, I think it was like the first or second tip I gave, is you also want to make sure you practice your edits from both sides. But the reason why editing is just so important when it comes to being able to build a lot faster in this game is because when you're build fighting other players, it doesn't matter how good of a builder you are, eventually you're going to be making mistakes. And when it comes to build fighting against other players, if you're able to correct those mistakes a lot quicker, it's going to save you a lot and you're going to be able to correct yourself and as well, you're going to be able to keep your momentum or at least lose as little as possible. So you always want to make sure your edits are as good as you can get them. You want to make sure that your edits are very clean. And of course, there's a couple edits that you want to be very proficient at. And one of those, I would say, is going to be double edits because you're constantly going to be double editing if you're ever coming out of boxes. So that is one edit you really want to practice. Another edit is just going to be the simple wall edit where you edit the bottom corner three squares. And you also want to be very proficient when it comes to editing stairs because if you're ever in a box fight or you're ever you know in a box per se it's really important that you're able to edit stairs very efficiently or you're going to be able to or, or you're just going to get stuck and a lot of times going to get screwed over because you're trying to edit a stair and you're missing the edit and you have a player outside of your box just spamming their p90 so really a great way to improve a lot of your edits that you would need specifically is going to be playing box fights because pretty much the hardest edits to get down are going to be ones that are very close quarters in box fights. So being able to edit a wall when you're getting spammed at and when you have like the worst angle possible, things like that are going to really help you improve your editing speed. And of course, if you always, if you guys are just practicing your edits in creative, you also want to make sure, as I said before, you want to make sure you practice editing from both sides. That way you can get your edits down as much as possible you become very proficient and it's going to save you a lot because as i said it doesn't matter how good of a builder you are eventually you're going to be making mistakes and the best way to kind of mitigate the effect of messing up your builds is going to be being a very good editor and practicing your edits is something that is not too difficult to do there's only a couple edits that you really want to have mastered to be very proficient so those are going to be my three best tips for keeping your momentum because the most important thing is just keeping your momentum when you are in build fights against other players. It's going to help you build a lot faster and just make you a much faster player in the game. So the first one is just going to be you know, making sure you build from both sides. I think that's going to be very important to do. The second one is going to be able to learn as many high ground retakes as possible. That way, if you ever have to go for a different retake to keep your momentum, you're going to be able to do so and is what's going to help you improve your building speed. And the third one is going to be practicing your edits because it doesn't matter how good of an editor you are, you're eventually going to be messing up your edits. So you want to make sure you're very efficient when it comes to editing in this game because it's going to help you whenever you do mess up. So with that being said that's wrap up for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys liked it and if you guys could make sure you guys do drop a like make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and as well i do live stream every single day here on this channel at 4 30 eastern standard time so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys get a notification when i go live on this channel but with that being said i appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys i will see you in the next video